Hi everybody, welcome to Frequently Asked Questions with canine educator Tony Nealab. Last week, one of our followers asked some advice in the comments section. I've got a three-year-old low content wolf dog. Overall, he's amazing. The only issue we really have is him marking indoors, if not watched for just a split second. He's been neutered since just before he turned two. Now, before we get into this, there's multiple reasons why a dog might be marking. So multiple functions of marking are, one, territorial claims. Marking can serve to inform other animals of an individual's presence and claim over a specific area. This is often observed in the wild and in domestic situations where animals encounter unfamiliar or competing individuals. The second is communication. Marking can convey a wide range of information to other animals such as sexual availability, social status, and individual identity. This form of olfactory communication is rich in social information and plays a crucial role in the social dynamics of many species. Anxiety and stress. Animals may mark more frequently in response to stress or anxiety. Changes in the environment, the presence of unfamiliar animals or people, and other stressors can lead to increased marking as a way of self-soothing or attempting to control a perceived threat in their environment. We also have exploratory behavior. Marking can also be exploratory, especially in new or changing environments. Animals may mark to familiarize themselves within an area and to create a sense of security by placing their own sense in that environment. We also have attention seeking. In some cases, especially with pets, marking can be, learned, uh, be a learned behavior to seek attention from their owners. If a pet learns that marking results in attention, even if it's negative, they may continue this behavior. We also have sexual behavior. Marking behaviors can increase due to hormonal influences, especially in non-neutered males and females in heat. This is not purely territorial, but it is related to reproductive signaling. Okay, before we get started, a little about my approach. The course of action we are going to take focuses on a revolutionary approach to canine cognitive learning and the development of a dog's natural intelligence. Cognitive learning is designed to enhance a dog's ability to make proper, independent decisions without relying on traditional training, tools, treats, or toys. This method is rooted in evolutionary psychology, nurturing innate behaviors, and latent learning, and does not rely on offering conditioning like positive reinforcement or training tools often used by conventional trainers. Now let's get started. For your three-year-old low-content wolf dog who has had an issue with marking indoors, a cognitive learning approach would involve creating an environment that encourages him to make the right decisions on his own. Since the issue is with marking when you're not when he's not closely watched. So the solution can involve increasing his cognitive engagement in those moments. Here are some suggestions based on the cognitive learning principles. One, enhanced environmental management. By subtly altering the environment to discourage marking, you're leveraging your canine's ability to make decisions based on his surroundings. So here is an example. You might want to place his water and food bowl or furniture in the area where he normally marks. See, dogs often avoid toileting in the areas where they engage in other type of activities. So by changing the purpose of these spaces, you're in fact encouraging him to view them much differently. Second, predictable routine and engagement. A consistent daily routine reduces stress and anxiety, which can be underlying causes of marking. Predictability in his environment and schedule allows him to feel much more secure. So when he's inside, establish fixed routines for when he's inside. Um, such as when I come inside, the first thing we do is go for a walk. After the walk, after that, we come back inside and we have a meal. After the meal, then dad likes to come and play with me. After we play, then I have to rest. Then I go back outside. Then he brings me back in and we start over again. If he knows that he'll go outside at regular intervals, he may be less inclined to mark indoors due to the predictability of outdoor bathroom breaks. So engaging your canine in activities that require focus and problem solving can redirect his mental energy away from undesirable behaviors. So also when he's inside, try teaching him stuff inside the house, commands or tricks that require concentration, such as holding specific items by name or learning to navigate simple obstacle courses you set up in the house. These activities in the house provide mental stimulation, reduce boredom, which can contribute to marking. We also have emotional regulation and stress reduction. Addressing the emotional needs of your canine can help mitigate stress-induced behaviors like marking. Example, create a safe space for him, such as a quiet corner um, in his bed and his favorite ingestible chews. Ingestible chews are cow hooves, marrow bones, pizzle sticks, etc. 
This preoccupies him in using activities that calm him. We also have direct direction of natural behaviors. Encouraging natural behaviors in appropriate contexts can help manage and redirect the marking behavior. If he shows an inclination to mark certain objects, simply say, hey, go back outside, creating an outdoor space where it's acceptable for him to mark. Do not let him immediately back in the house. Give him minimally an hour or longer for time to get his mind straight and self-reflect on realizing that the decision he made is made it so he's not able to spend time with you in the house. You see, canines are social pack animals. They will always choose to change their behavior for the benefit of being able to be with you. If your dog doesn't care whether they're with you or not, that would mean we have a separate issue. We have a bonding issue. Um, the last one, consistent and calm correction. If you catch him in, in the act of marking indoors, it's going to be very, very important to correct the behavior calmly and redirect them. So you don't want to say, go back outside. It's just simple. Uh, go back outside, right? Yelling and scolding him creates an issue that causes him to want to spend time with you in the house regardless, which diminishes your bond and creates the issue I had just mentioned earlier. We won't be able to modify his behavior if he's not bonded to you, doesn't want to be with you anyway. Next, we have thorough cleaning of marked areas. Removing the sense of previous markings is crucial as this is going to just re-trigger the marking. So clean any indoor marking spots with an enzymatic cleaner designed to break down pet odors. This helps eliminate the scent markers that encourage remarking to begin with. Implementation and monitoring of his treatment plan requires um, some adjustments that may be necessary based on his response to these strategies. Consistency and application and a positive patient approach are going to be key to encouraging the desired behavior change. Monitor his behavior closely and celebrate those small successes as he learns to adapt to these new patterns. If you would like a more detailed plan or wish to speak with me, I would encourage you to schedule a free call with me visiting my website, tony neelacom just so everybody knows, I do consult clients worldwide. In fact, that message goes for anyone watching this video. I'm Tony Neela. Join me as we unlock your dog's natural intelligence without treats or tools. Got questions about canine cognitive learning? We've got answers. Drop your questions in the comment below and I'll tag you when I post the next answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye everybody.